Hello everybody, Donna here with Donna's Creative Dabbles. I'm back again today and I'm still practicing before I do my little table. And so uh, I've got to flood my canvas and this is Mars Black mixed with Floetrol and water. And uh, so I'll get that on there. I did level my canvas. So I've got to make sure that those, that they go back on the sticks. <laughs> so I use my spatula here to get this spread out. And I hope I have this one thin enough for doing the Dutch pour. Grab a paper towel here. And of course, they're around the edges to make sure all my edges are covered. You want to make sure that your edges are all covered while doing a Dutch pour because you don't want to where your paint goes over the edges you don't want to have to mess that up afterwards by trying to get the area covered so always make sure that you have your sides all covered There you go. Now I'm going to get my torch and pop bubbles. And I just mixed this up so there's lots of little tiny bubbles in it. And they are popping. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. Lots and lots of little bubbles. And if you don't get those popped, then after you've done your painting, they will pop and you'll have little white dots in your painting. I think that's got it. So I'm doing a Dutch pour. So I'm going to, on my colors here, I have, uh, most of these are Arteza, uh, iridescent, and this is the Electric Plum Purple. And this here. It's a very pretty color. And then I'm getting really brave. And this is a mica powder from Arteza. And it is spring green. So I mixed it up. Then I'm going to use some silver. Um, it is uh, Deco Art um, Silver. And this is a, another mica powder, aqua blue. And it's right here. Very, very pretty color. All of these are. Uh, I don't know. I maybe I wish I had used a little bit more dark, but I'm doing it on black. So this one is, again, the, this is the royal purple, Arteza. And this is the fairy tale blue. Uh, and then this one is the um, blue sapphire, sapphire blue from uh, Deco Art. So those are my colors. And now I've got to make a decision. I've got six colors there plus silver. So that's a lot of color for this little canvas. So we'll see how it comes out. Um, so I think I'm just gonna puddle it in the middle. So I'm going to start with the pinkish, the electric plum purple, and then green, and put some silver in here. And the, 
I can't remember what any of these are. The aqua blue. My consistency is, hopefully that's thin enough. And get the royal purple. This is the fairy tale blue. I like the name of that. And the Actually, I'm going to put a little bit more silver in here. And the... Sapphire blue. That's so pretty. Oh, I love those bright colors. And we will see. Cross our fingers and hope that we can blow this out. We'll start it on low. really like this lacing that I've got around the edges here on this side. I'm going to torch and see what comes up. I don't have any um, silicone in this. It's just water and Floetrol and paint. I'm trying to see if there's any bubbles okay and I am going to tilt it a little bit this direction just to work on the composition I really like to get some of that down that way I'm really liking all of this along here. And I know I'm tilting all of my blue off, but I'm going to get it down there a little bit further. And then I'm going to come back. Get that one little bit off there. And come back down this way. I hope I'm holding that where you all can see what I'm doing. I'm just, right now I'm just working to get something that I'm liking. Kind of maybe. So, okay. Okay, what do you think? Hmm, interesting. Um, just took a lot of paint on there. I kind of like this area coming in through here. Sort of looks like water around it and then going off. What do you think? Should I play with it or should I leave it? Decisions, decisions. Always hard decisions. Hmm. Well, I 
really like the shimmer with those metallics and iridescence in here are just beautiful. And, hmm, do I play with it? I'm kind of thinking I want to play with it, but I don't know. I don't think I like that black blob over there. So I'm going to try, see if I've got enough paint left on here to get some of that off. Watching paint flow. I think it's, it's going to go off. on. Here it goes by black. Hmm. Okay. I think I like that better. What do you think? I always wish you could talk to me and tell me to stop. Interesting. Interesting. I really, I know it's probably crazy, but I really do like this area through here. It's not at all like what I'm wanting for my table. And I knew that these colors wouldn't be, but I wanted to play with them. I've had these Arteza colors for a while, and I hadn't really played with them much. So today was the day to do that. So what do you think? I don't think I'd, I'm going to get much more off of there. And I'm getting a, the black blob back on this side. So I think I'm going to stop while I'm ahead. Playing with paint is not a clean <laughs> entertainment. <laughs> I'm always getting paint everywhere, all over me. And I could wear my gloves, but... I wasn't planning on having to tilt this, but what do you think? I'm kind of liking it. Once again, I kind of like this little area going out here. And this almost looks like an animal print. Mountains coming up. There's kind of a waterfall coming down here. That's kind of cool. Hmm. Yeah, I kind of like that. I'm almost wondering if I should take and make that a little bit more of a waterfall. Hmm. Yeah, kind of coming in. Okay, I'm going to leave it for now. <laughs> No guarantees that I won't be doing something to it, but I got paint all over my level and me. So thank you for playing with me today, and I'll be back with another video. I still haven't decided exactly what I'm going to do with this little round table I have, but I'll take you on the journey with me. Have a good day. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up and just come anytime and play with me. Thank you so much. Bye.